We all know about the divorce controversy of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Today, on Celeblight, we are throwing light on the entire controversial story and the time when Amber Heard admitted she deserved to go to prison. Before we dive, it will take seconds for you to smash the subscribe button to never miss out on more videos by Celeblight. In 2009, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard started as co-stars in a movie set. According to Entertainment Tonight, Depp and Heard first met on the location of the Rum Diaries in October 2009, when they played love interests to each other. Even though the film did not perform well and failed to capture many hearts, it did catalyze a love story that is far too intriguing to be true. After Depp and his longtime partner, Vanessa Paradis, called it splits, the two eventually started dating in 2012. In a July 2013 interview with Rolling Stone, Depp discussed the separation, saying relationships are complicated. Depp didn't mention Heard in the Rolling Stone essay, which was typical of him and Heard, who kept the relationship covert until they made their first public appearance together in January 2014 at the 7th Annual Heaven Gala. Depp and Heard married on February 5, 2015, after only a few months of dating. The couple married on Depp's 44-acre private island in the Bahamas, according to E! News. However, the wedding bells marked the conclusion of their magnificent trip, not the beginning. Depp allegedly got into an argument with Heard in March 2015 and then shattered bottles, windows, and other items around the house. In May of that year, the pair was arrested in Australia after officials discovered that Depp and Heard had brought their Yorkshire Terriers into the nation illegally by failing to submit the canines to the country's 10-day quarantine. Heard filed a motion to dismiss the complaint in April 2019, claiming that Depp was abusive on several instances throughout the relationship. The activity includes more than incidents of Depp's abuse, which she referred to as the monster when she acted in this manner. Heard allegedly abused Depp throughout the relationship. According to Depp, in early 2020, the matter became much more complicated when audio from a 2015 therapy session involving the couple was published online. Both Heard and Depp acknowledge having rage issues throughout the clip before agreeing to stop the physical violence before things got out of hand. However, Heard's claimed confession of beating Depp during the relationship is one of the most critical aspects of the two-hour video therapy session. On Friday, a former housemate and friend of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, who witnessed the turmoil in their marriage, testified in a libel trial that his ex-wife blackmailed the former over the injuries she created. The Pirates of the Caribbean series star is suing The Sun's newspaper's publisher and executive director in London's High Court for a 2018 piece that called him a wife-beater. According to The Sun, the 57-year-old allegedly mistreated a 34-year-old model and actress 14 times before their two-year marriage ended in 2017. Last week, Depp admitted to telling her during a particularly tense confrontation that the two were a crime scene waiting to happen. As Depp's different bodyguards and staff joined the stand this week, the attention moved from the actor's allegedly propensity to tear things up while high or drug to Heard's credibility. Pictures of Heard's injuries are leaked to the public. According to Depp's boyhood friend Isa Akbarak, an artist who lived in the couple's five penthouse apartment complex in Los Angeles, were phony bullcrap. She filed a false domestic violence allegation to force her hand in a divorce and extort and blackmail him, Barak added. Moreover, the right half of Heard's face around her eye is covered in red blotches in one of the photos in question. On the other hand, Depp's pal stated he saw her the next day from 12 inches away and that her complexion was clear. I didn't notice any bruises, redness, marks, or the red-tinted cell phone imprint that was advertised in the newspaper, magazines. Nothing. Nothing at all, Barrick remarked. Sasha Wass, a lawyer from the Sun's Publishers News Group newspapers, and GN attempted to portray Barrick as an untrustworthy witness who relied on Depp for a living. She claimed Depp provided Barrick with free housing and tens of thousands of dollars in year living expenses. Wass also inquired about Barrick's assurance that Heard was not concealing her bruises with cosmetics because he saw Heard four more times over the next three days. Barrick said he was 100% confident. He stated, I saw no marks of any tape on either side of the face. Meanwhile, no such thing is seen on the Sese TV tape. Instead, her face is visible and charges are not timed correctly. She even actually admitted everything. Heard has been attending the proceedings every day, but it will be his first time in the witness box on Monday. 
Depp's lawyers is likely to question whether she staged or falsified any of the images of her face submitted to the court. The Sun's attorney said that they got a notification from Depp's team on Friday alleging that approximately 20 of the photographs had been adapted or modified. The photo barrack was asked about had been photoshopped according to Depp's lawyers. Judge Andrew Nicole agreed to investigate the case further the following week. and the other hand, was revealed an audio clip of her telling one of her employees that she covered up her bruises in public. In an undated recording played in court, Heard claimed, I hid it from everyone. Surprisingly, she also admits that she bribed Johnny Depp and his lawyers to quit the lawsuit paying her the hefty price. This is how she admits all the things she did, and so she deserves to be in prison. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Do let us in the comment section what you think about her imprisonment. We will see you soon. Till then, keep yourself subscribed to Celeb Light.